Welcome to Christopher for Co.uk Get Going Guides. Uh, this podcast will be looking at how do you add content to your freeway site. I've made up a demo site folder uh, here and I've made in there a media folder in which I've copied a lot of images that we're going to use uh, for this site and you can download these from www.chrislinford.co.uk and go to the get going guides and to the video section and uh, you can download a zip file of all of these. I've got a site folder, nothing in there yet, that's where the HTML code is going to be put in and I've made myself an extra text folder for where I'm going to keep the text. Uh, for this document as well. So I might have text for all the different pages uh, to come from. If you're working on a commercial site, often you'll be given text from your client uh, for you just to literally just copy and paste uh, into the website and then you make it look nice with all the fonts and uh, sizes and things. So let's open up our freeway document. Uh, so while it opens up, here it is. I've got um, a standard size of 960 by 720. I'm going to be assuming that it's a more modern um, website users for this and, uh, and I'm going to call it my website. So I can call the title anything I like uh, on the page. So I'm just going to give it a name there. So the important thing is is how do I add content uh, to the page. We've got these tools along here uh, but I'm going to use the tool icon here so uh, it can be a bit easier but you can see as I click on different ones here it moves along the top uh, as well. Now there's two ways of uh, working in a freeway and we'll go into that at a later tutorial and that is using CSS or a table layout and you just click on it and it will move it in. This is the difference between using tables and CSS and we'll discuss this uh, later date and the pros and cons of each one. But really all that changes when I go to CSS is this box here is green when I turn it off this box here is blue so instantly you know whether you're working in a table layout or a CSS layout uh, just from there and you can change them on and off at a later date as well as in everything in freeway is flexible now the key to adding content is this box here which is the graphic uh, box you can have an oval graphic box as well which goes down to that one uh, or you add uh, an HTML box or if it's CSS it becomes a green HTML box which uses uh, CSS data. So these are the two boxes I tend not to use the oval one but you might have a use for it uh, the two boxes you need to add content are either an HTML item or a graphic item. If you want um, a graphic item you just click on a box or any of them, you just click on the box you want and draw it and up will come the thing, item on your page there and what will happen if you want to change it you can just click on the boxes and you can change it to any size that you want. If I go to the inspector I can see if I click on the box here I've got here the dimensions in pixels of how big, wide and across from the page is. So if I want to change it manually, I'm going to change it to 150 height. It will just change manually so I can keep exact control over my boxes uh, for it as well. Now if I want to choose an HTML item, I just again click on a box and then I can resize it to however I want. Notice that a picture box has a grey boundary a table box has a blue boundary and if I use a CSS it will give you a green boundary. So it's instantly recognizable uh, by what it is you want to do it. So the main thing to add content is to draw your box and then you can put things into it. So what I can do is I can resize it to exact size I want and then add the content. If I want to add text I can just click inside and I can just start typing uh, in the text there and the same with the CSS I can just start typing in there and if I want to add a picture I go to the file and go down to import and I'm going to import 
my picture and this is a Photoshop document and I'm just going to open that and then it will import and then I can resize it um, in any way that I like so if I want to get it to fit the box so fix box to content which will mean the box will resize to the content but if I want the content to resize the box I just go to the item menu graphic and I go down to scale and pad and then it will center it within that box and then if I want to tidy up unused bits of box I can fit the box to that content then. So that's, we'll go into more detail about these um, adding content later on uh, and the different ways of using the CSS uh, and HTML. Of course you can always choose a CSS box and import a picture into CSS. So I'll just add this. The difference with CSS is that you can't change the size of it. All the sizing uh, stay the same, so you have to have your picture ready to go at the right size. If I want to do an HTML box, again I can add a picture. And again, if I go to the item, you can see the sizes are off. So the picture box option gives a much better uh, option then. Of course I can always then, if I move that out of the way, I can choose a picture box and I can click inside and I can add text inside a picture box. So you can add text into all sorts of different boxes. You can add pictures into all the different kinds of boxes. They may have limitations of what you can do but later on when we look at them in more detail you'll find that if you choose the wrong box you can change it to the other one uh, just by a small selection uh, in the site. So that's really how you create content on your page in Freeway. You draw a box, choose a rough box you think to be right, add some content, import a picture or import text. Uh, in a picture box you can also add videos uh, as well uh, or flash files uh, and then if you get it wrong you can change your mind later date. So this was adding content to Freeway. Uh, we'll look at them in more detail later on. Uh, you can find me at chrislinford.co.uk or you can find me on iTunes or YouTube.